Welcome back to the Computer Intelligence Training and Enrichment Center, Human Test Subject Research Center. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to PA's Perpetual I call Testing. This case. Surprise. All right. So, right off the bat, we're playing Jolosity, the second one, or that is to say, the second. Uh, trial chamber, I suppose. Let's see here. What is all of this? What what music do we have? We listened to that one last time. What else do we have? That's all right. Oh no, no, not that one. It's pretty cool music. I like that one. I like that one. Escaping from Wheatley. The moon. Fight with Wheatley. And final fight with Wheatley. Hmm. You know what, sure, let's listen to this one. We're going to go on to Jelocity. Tri time Trial 2. Oh my god. The countdown. Alright. I'm racing, but I have no idea where I'm racing. As fast as you can. Alright then, fine, let's do this! Welcome to Jelocity, Time Trial 2. Today we're going to be looking at the fact that I'm moving extremely quickly. As we found out with the first Jelocity map, maintaining your momentum is one of the key parts to making sure that you get through a Jelocity time trial quickly. In this case, I actually think I could have made my time considerably faster by firing a portal there and then firing a portal on the ground and moving through that, but it doesn't matter, we're going to keep on moving through. Blue over there, orange over there, jump. That's the fastest way to move through, just gotta make sure that I go around the corner correctly and then... There it's we go. Just have to go ahead and bounce on that. I'm a little embarrassed at how crude it is. Yeah, Still, yeah, be quiet. Will smash you. Okay. Okay, apparently that was impl impressive. Good. Okay, 39 seconds in. I wonder what the pass time is for this. Oh no. Yes! Got it! Failed it. Shit. <laughs> Alright, I gotta admit, I love... It isn't even a test. Yeah, yeah, be quiet. Okay. One of the things I absolutely love about this is... Wait, what? What am I supposed to do there? I'm trying to figure out a way that I'm supposed... Oh, I get it. I hate you so much. W what? I'm kidding. Oh, you, you total shit. I had to prepare for that before I even knew that I could? Oh my god, that is such bullshit. Granted, it's well-designed bullshit, but this is not stuff you get on the first run, but I suppose that's the point to a test like this, and it's moving side to side! That is amazing! Alright, so moving platforms, I gotta say, Jelocity 2 seems a lot, uh, shinier than Jelocity 1, just, uh, right off the bat, and I have a feeling that it's going to take me substantially longer to complete than the first one did. But, you know, I can't say that for certain. Like an eagle. eagle. Piloting, Piloting a blimp. A blimp. Uh, the test chamber quotes within are kind of undone by the fact that I am completely and totally aware of the storyline lines. A minute 40, so I'm about 20 seconds off. I think I should be able to make this, actually, truth be told. So let's just see if we can go through the second time. Now, one of the coolest things about this map thus far is the fact that it is giving me so many different opportunities to speed myself up and the fact that I'm promptly ruining a good ch uh, good chunk of them but you know what that's fine we can deal with ruining a good chunk of the opportunities we're given so long as we eventually get through the test I'm trying to think how I might get up there though easy way to dodge the crusher is to just take the long way around with the bounce there and I jump straight over the bounce gel I literally could have run into this stuff and I wouldn't have been moving at if the same speed happened. Watching. Okay, so I missed that, which is a bit of a pity, but you know what? I can just continue anyway, though I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through this one on my very first try. Or on my second try. Again, I jump! I have a serious problem with over jumping. Yes. Let's all laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Alright, so an easy ha. way to get through this is going to be just bouncing over it before the time is up. There we go. Saves us a significant amount of time. Now, if I place a blue portal, say, there, and then aim at that one, 
Yeah, that should save me actually a little bit of time going through here. 123, so I've only got 17 seconds to complete the race. Don't know if that's going to be possible, but you know what? We're not about to give up. We're not a quitter. It's not us. Actually, it's not us at all. I'm, I'm the one doing the racing. You all are just kind of watching. Which, by the way, is perfectly fine. I mean, if you enjoy watching races, then, uh, I mean, there, there are entire sports just dedicated to people with your same interests. It's true, uh, N N N Nizkar? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Though I am wondering what the heck this funnel is supposed to be. It appears to be a quick transport that only unlocks if I go through You're some of the... Record. Yeah, yeah, I beat my record, whatever. It appears to be a quick transport that actually only unlocks if I don't hit the doors, which is definitely an interesting idea, though not one I'm sure that I've ever seen executed before. There we go, got the quick transfer there, and I completely missed the quick transfer there, but you know what, that's fine, we can deal with that. And quickly just right through this way, jump over the side so we don't have to worry about the craw shit. My bad. If I made these tests any easier, they wouldn't be tests. They'd be a race. Which it is. Okay, I missed that, so I'm gonna act to actually take this corner. I don't think I'm going to be making it around this time trial, plus this time, this entire track is a little bit slower than the other one, simply due to the fact that it is, um, well, about 20 seconds longer at, at its worst, and really, I missed that. And that, you know what, it's fine, the door's open anyway, I don't think I'm going to be making this one, but I am learning each and every time that I go through this area. So, I wonder, could I place a portal... Oh, I can! That is actually pretty cool. I'm okay with that. I should try to do that on a more regular basis, though I don't know that it's going to be enough to save this run. It's about learning all the little tips and tricks through these chambers, and somebody completed this map in a minute four! I just remembered that! How the hell did you manage that? I mean, I'm having trouble completing it in a reasonable amount of time as is, much less in a minute and four seconds. I mean, I'm not even going to complete it by the time that it's due, because I'm already a minute 38 in, and you have to beat a minute 40 just to be able to get out of the chamber. This does seem to be the shorter way around to the exit, and indeed, it did save me about 10 you seconds off of my previous record. time, but I'm not sure how much faster this next run is going to be. We're just going to go ahead and give it a shot. So, the tricks I'm aware of. This one, I'm supposed to fling myself by, place by placing a portal up there, falling out and placing a portal beneath me, flying across this area, and failing evidently. Okay, sure, we'll roll with it. Don't know why I failed there, but alright. I think I'm supposed to maybe move out of the side of the test chamber. Anyway, blue and orange there. Allows me to fly across this way, right over here. Perfect. Jump across the crusher instead of... Oh, shit, I screwed it up. You know what, that's okay. So... Really? Oh, stop the laughter. I don't think I'm able to... Does the crusher even go? Can I just jump straight through it? Or is that actually a reaction of sorts to the player? Not entirely certain. Anyway, let's just go around the side. We're at 50 seconds, so I don't think I'm going to be making it through this time, but who knows? I might. I might just be able to prove myself wrong. Okay, got the bounce there. Perfect. Fly through. Missed a bit of momentum there because I hit the edge of the bridge. So I want to place a an orange portal there and a blue portal on the other side. Damn it, I screwed that up a bit. But you know what? That's fine. Okay. Missed about a second or two, but we're at a minute 15, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to complete this anyway. We're just learning the tricks. We're learning the secrets of the trade that we can use to get through this particular chamber. Though I don't know that secrets of the trade will be any assistance if I can't actually figure out how to use them. Okay, so I missed that one, but I didn't miss that one. Okay, good. That actually, I was a bit nervous that I wasn't going to miss that one, truth be told. And then blue over there, orange right here. Good. Uh, I didn't get the momentum that I needed. I'm a minute 41 in, so I'm not going to be able to get this. If I successfully slow him through here, it should allow me to take the shortcut. Yes, get me back to the exit. I'm going to be a little bit over 150 this time, but I think that's all right because we're, yeah, 153. That's okay, because I think we're going to be able to complete this in the near future here. I'm getting better with each and every run. I just have to be able to execute the tricks that I find. God, all the sort of tricks and shortcuts, though, in race maps and races in general. I remember I, one game I just loved playing as a kid was Snowboard Kids. And there were all sorts of... Or, actually, I had Snowboard Kids, too. I never played the original. But 
Snowboard Kids 2 is like a really good game. Like, it's not one that everybody will necessarily have heard of, but it was really solid and had a lot of secret passages, I suppose you could say. Little shortcuts within the maps that people didn't necessarily know about, but that you kind of had to know if you wanted to complete the map on time. I think that kind of happened to every single racing game at some point or another. I mean, even Diddy Kong Racing had like a race with a boss that was just about literally unwinnable if you didn't actually have the correct shortcuts memorized. So we're up to 50 seconds now. I was able to make that shortcut, but I think this run might already be ruined by not making all of the shortcuts. I should be able to turn this corner though, fire here. Th I think this is going to be the biggest time saver. If I can fire a portal there, I couldn't. But I could fire my portals correctly over there. Okay, next one I'm going to have to do blue there, orange there, didn't get it. Okay, I have to focus on getting that one first, and then I can focus on the portal below me. Minute 24, I might be able to do this anyway. Okay, come on. Through the test chamber, and 34, 35, all right, we're out. But you know what, we're not leaving. We're going to go ahead and try to, yep, beat my own record. But I'm try, going to try to beat a metal record, because I think I should be able to do that for this map if I just focus on hitting all of the tricks and all of the shortcuts and all that good jazz. So let's go ahead and fall through here, and made it good, okay. Blue and orange fly through here. I think I might be missing a shortcut over there, but you know what? That's fine. I can deal with missing a shortcut here and there. What I could not deal with would be completely and totally missing a shortcut and then losing a bunch of time as a result. Did I actually make that portal? I did not. Okay, so it's a good thing that I didn't try to go over there, but that's another shortcut that I missed. You know what? That's fine. We can deal with shortcuts being missed. Through here, jump over, and then we're going to place the two portals here and here. We're going to jump through... Alright, I think we got it this time. I think we've just about nailed it. Blue, orange, I missed it! Oh god, I missed it. The slowest possible path. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Still, only one minute in, but I think that we had 50 seconds last time, so I might not actually be able to make it this time, unless I can finally land the shortcut that I haven't been landing the whole map long. So, just one here, and blue... Orange? Oh my god, if I can actually land that, that would be even better than landing the one I was thinking of. Holy crap. Okay, so my portal didn't quite open in time, but I suppose that's alright. It seems like the map actually was actively fighting me there a bit. What sort of time am I looking at? 137, 38. It still made the end of the map. But I did not make the metal time that I was looking for, so we're going to go ahead and try to keep landing these shortcuts. Hopefully I should be able to in the near future. Yeah, racing games in general, I don't know, I've never been a huge fan of racing games. I mean, I, like any kid, played Mario Kart at one point or another. And I also took a look at, I don't know, what was it, Sonic R or whatever it was called? And Diddy Kong Racing was amazing, and I beat it completely in Whizpid Game... Whiz... Whizpid. Whizpid... Whiz... Pig can go suck a dick. That was a lot of work for a joke that wasn't particularly eloquent when it all came down to it. But you know what? I can deal with not particularly eloquent. Oh, damn it. Oh, barely landed that one. Blue and orange. I jumped over it. Why did I jump over it? You know what? Fine. I just hate it when I make dumb mistakes like that. Well, first off, we have that there, and then we have orange over there, and I should be able to make this. Yes, good, okay, we're through. Respawn point over there, don't think I have to be too worried about that. But where is the shortcut for this area? So far as I can tell, there isn't one, which is a bit weird, because most areas within Velocity have had some sort of shortcut that they're supposed to allow you. I actually got it! I landed the shortcut here a minute 22. It's actually not bad at all. Then right through here, and map complete. Alright. 133. Under 130. Own hmm. I still didn't get a medal time. You know what, that's fine though, I hit most of the shortcuts I was trying to. And I had fun doing it. I really like race maps, because they just allow me to kinda... You know, relax, and chill out, and talk quickly, and all sorts of fun jazz without worrying too much about, you know, how to actually solve the puzzle. The only puzzle is getting a faster time.
So it's still a test, just not the traditional kind of test, if that makes sense? <laughs> Hope it does. Anyway, thanks guys for watching PA's Perpetual Testing, and I'll see you all next time.